Now, this second video is on mole concept. This is when we come to calculations involving mole and mass. So it goes both ways. Sometimes you ask about uh, finding mole. Sometimes you ask to find mass given the mole. So it can go two ways. So this is the basic understanding of it. So let's start. Now, it's important to understand that one mole of a compound is simply the molecular mass in grams. The molecular mass is sometimes represented by the symbol MR. So if I want to find one mole of hydrogen gas, okay, I, that means the mass of one atom and basically the mass of two atoms, sum of two atoms in one mole, okay, one unit. So I will take the nuclear number, the mass number on top. So in this case, one plus one will give me two gram. Okay, one mole of H two will be two grams. Now, if I want one mole of HNO3, this is what I will do. I will add up all the atoms of one unit of HNO3. This will give me the molecular mass. So, take the mass number of each element. In the case of hydrogen 1, 14, 16, 16, 16. So, I add everything together and I will get 63 grams. So, basically, one mole of HNO3 will be 63 grams. So now let's start with the question. Now you are given four moles of hydrogen gas that has reacted in this reaction. Calculate the mass of NH3 form. So first thing you do is look, make sure the equation is balanced, and then put up the general ratio for this equation. Okay, so let's start. If I have four moles of hydrogen gas that has reacted, okay, step one, what you must do is you can't say this is 4 moles, therefore this is 4 grams. It doesn't work that way. Because partly the ratio is different. And you've got to relate to, uh, one element or another compound, both substances, based on what is given the mole. Okay, so step 1, 4 moles. So find out how many moles this is. So if this is 3 and this is 2, 4 must be 4 divided by 3, find 1 unit, and then times 2. And this will give me the mole of NH3. So it's 8 over 3 moles of NH3. Now this is not the end of it because at the end of the day I want to find the mass of NH3. So what's the next step? I know that 1 mole of NH3 is equals to the molecular mass which is 14 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 like what means you simply add up everything so i know one mole is equals to 17 grams okay the molecular mass is 70 grams 8 over 3 moles would be 17 grams times 8 over 3 moles okay you calculate this out and you will get a figure. So that is how you do it. Step 1, find a mole required. So 4 moles here, 8 over 3 moles. Use the ratio, 3 is to 2. So divide by 3, the times 2, 8 over 3. Second step, find one mole. How much is the mass of one mole of NH3? This is calculated by... 14 plus 1, yeah. molecular mass means basically add up all the atoms, 17 grams. Last step, take the mole, what, 8 over 3 times 1 unit or 1 mole, then you will get the answer. Okay, this is the next question. Look at the facts that's given. You have 1.5 mole of calcium hydroxide. So, I'm told I have 1.5 mole of calcium hydroxide mole of calcium hydroxide. Calculate the mass of water required. I want to find the mass of water required. So before I start, I will always do the mole ratio. 2 is to 1 is to 1 is to 2. Okay, I'm given 1.5 mole. I can't say that 1.5 times 2 will be the gram. No, it doesn't work that way. So you have to use the mole ratio to travel across. So if this is 1.5 mole, the mole ratio of this will be twice 
water as twice the mole. So the mole of water will be 1.5 times 2 is equal to 3 moles. I found out that water is 3 moles, so what's my next step? My next step is to find the mass of water. So the molecular mass of water is 1 plus 1 plus 16, which is 18. So 1 mole of water is equal to 18 grams. 3 moles of water equals to 18 times 3. That will be 54 grams. Okay, let's move on. Okay, mix this is the equation in the blast furnace. Look at the facts. This is what is given. You're given 91 gram of CO was used. So calculate the mass of hematite Fe2 or 3 that is required. So now I want to find what is the mass used. Now this is slightly different now. You're given mass, not mole. Okay, so let's put up the ratio. 1 is to 3 is to 2 is to 3. Okay. You can't say that this is 3 moles, therefore this is one third of it. No, it doesn't look that way. Okay, In order for things to travel across, you need to use the mole ratio. So now you have to find how many mole this gives you. So I know that one unit or one mole of CO is equal to 12 plus 16, and that is 28 gram. So if I have 91 gram, okay, this will mean 91 divided by 28 will be 3.25 mole. So I found out that this guy is 3.25 mole. If this is 3.25 mole, how many mole would that be? So I found out and converted. Okay, this is 3.25 mole. So use the mole ratio again. Okay? This is one third. So the mole of Fe2O3 will be one third. 3 is to 1, so it's one third times the mole. 3.25. Okay. Okay, my answer is I'm going to leave it in fraction 1 over 1 child more. So, the last step calculate the mass of Fe2O3. So, to do that, I know the molecular mass of Fe2O3 is 56 times 2 plus 16 times 3, that will give me 160. So the mass of Fe2O3 will be simply take the mole times 1 unit. So this is how many units that is required, which is 1 over 1 child times 160. So 1 over 1 child times 160 will be 173 and one third gram. In the exam, do not leave this as the answer. You need to convert it to two decimal place or two significant figure. So it's 173.33 gram. So that's how you do it. Step one, change the mass to mole. Step two, Play the mole ratio. Step 3, find one unit of Fe2O3 or the molecular mass and then times the number of units or number of moles here to get the mass. Step by step. Now for those of you who are lost, okay, you can use this formula. This is how it goes. Mole is equal to basically the mass, total mass as given, divided by one unit, the MR. So if I want to find mole, take mass divided by MR. 
if I want to find the mass, I will take the mole times the MR. And sometimes in the question, you are required to find the molecular mass. So what you do is take the mass divided by the mole. So this triangle is very useful. Let's try out for the next question. 40 grams of CH4 was completely combusted. Calculate the mass of H2O form. So write down the facts, put the facts down. 40 grams. Ratio goes up. Okay, what do you want to find? You want to find the the mass of H2O. So step one. What do you do? You have the mass. You have the mass. So step one, what you should do is you need to travel across, you need to use the mole. So you need to change this to mole. Step one. After you have found the mole, what do you do? You use the ratio. So step two, the ratio will give you the mole. And step three, how do you change the mole to mass? To change the mole to mass basically means I want to find mass. Take the mole times the molecular mass. So this is a three-step problem. So let's do first step. Step one. The mole of CH4 is equals to mass divided by the molecular mass. In this case, 12 plus 4. 12 is carbon, 4, 16. This will give me 40 divided by 16 is 2.5 mole. So if this is 2.5 mole, this will be 1 is to 2 will be so the mole step 2 of H2O will be twice 2.5 times 2 5 mole since I found out this is 5 moles of water my last step will be the mass of water will be mole times the molecular mass 5 times 18 will be 90 grams of water will form. So step by step, 1. Find the mole, convert the mass to mole. 2. Use the mole ratio. 1 is to 2. 3. Times the MR, molecular mass of 1 unit. So you have so many units here, you just times 1 unit, the mass of 1 unit, you will get the mole. Okay, this is the last uh, example. If I have 88 grams of CO2, so 88 grams of CO2, I want to calculate the mass of Fe2O3. So put up the ratio. That should be 2. Okay, step 1. Change this to mole. So this will be 88 divided by 12 plus 16 plus 16 is 44. So I will get 2 mole. Okay, I'm going to write it down here with my working. 88 divided by 44. 2 moles. Okay, 1 unit of CO2 is 44. So once I have 2 moles, find the mole of Fe2O3. So the mole of Fe2O3 will be 3 is to 1, so this is 1 third. 2 over 3, it's 1 third of it. So since this is 2, this should be 1 third. So I'm going to leave it in fractions. No. Last step. Since I have the mole, I want to find the mass. So the mass of Fe2O3 will be 2 over 3 times the molecular mass, which is the mass of one mole, so times one six zero two over three times one six zero will be one zero six and two third gram. Convert it, it will be 
106.67 grams. Now, this second video is on mole concept. This is when we come to calculations involving mole and mass. So it goes both ways. Sometimes you ask about uh, finding mole, sometimes you ask to find mass given the mole, so it can go two ways. So this is the basic understanding of it. So let's start. Now, it's important to understand that one mole of a compound is simply the molecular mass in grams. The molecular mass is sometimes represented by the symbol MR. So if I want to find one mole of hydrogen gas, okay, I, that means the mass of one atom and basically the mass of two atoms, sum of two atoms in one mole, okay, one unit. So I will take the nuclear number, the mass number on top. So in this case, one plus one will give me two grams. Okay, one mole of H2 will be two grams. Now, if I want one mole of HNO3, this is what I will do. I will add up all the atoms of one unit of HNO3. This will give me the molecular mass. So, take the mass number of each element. In the case of hydrogen 1, 14, 16, 16, 16. So, I add everything together and I will get 63 grams. So, basically, one mole of HNO3 will be 63 grams. Okay, so now let's start with the question. Now you are given four moles of hydrogen gas that has reacted in this reaction. Calculate the mass of NH3 form. So first thing you do is look, make sure the equation is balanced, and then put up the general ratio for this equation. Okay, so let's start. If I have four moles of hydrogen gas that has reacted, okay, step one, what you must do is you can't say this is 4 moles, therefore this is 4 grams. It doesn't work that way because partly the ratio is different and you've got to relate to, uh, one element or another compound, both substances, based on what is given the mole. Okay, so step one, 4 moles. So find out how many moles this is. So if this is 3 and this is 2, 4 must be 4 divided by 3, find 1 unit, and then times 2. And this will give me the mole of NH3. So it's 8 over 3 moles of NH3. Now this is not the end of it because at the end of the day I want to find the mass of NH3. So what's the next step? I know that 1 mole of NH3 is equals to the molecular mass which is 14 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 but what means you simply add up everything so I know one mole is equals to 17 grams okay the molecular mass is 70 grams 8 over 3 moles would be 17 grams times 8 over 3 moles okay you calculate this out and you will get a figure. So that is how you do it. Step 1, find the mole required. So 4 moles here, 8 over 3 moles. Use the ratio, 3 is to 2. So divide by 3, then times 2, is 8 over 3. Second step, find 1 mole, how much is the mass of 1 mole of NH3. This is calculated by... 14 plus 1, yeah. molecular mass means basically add up all the atoms, 17 grams. The last step, take the mole, what, 8 over 3, times 1 unit or 1 mole, then you will get the answer.